Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in this scroll saw project video, we're going to be doing some scroll saw compound cutting. Now, I already have the pattern attached to the block of wood, and this is just a piece of 2x4 um, that's been ripped down and shaped into the proper dimensions. And the pattern is going to be some word art, and it says, Love Wood. This would make a great desk accessory for a carpenter or someone that works at a lumber yard or even to put out here in the workshop somewhere. I love all kinds of species of wood. Um, my favorites are cedar and pine. I think pine is a very underrated wood to work with. I know it's soft and you can scratch it easy, but if you take your time and work with it and finish it properly, it can be a beautiful wood. Um, again, this is just a piece of 2x4 for this video. I've already attached the pattern and got my pilot holes drilled for the O and V in love and the D and the O, well, all the letters of wood have interior cuts as well. Um, compound cutting on the scroll saw, you need to have your scroll saw at a perfect 90 degree angle to the blade here. And speaking of blades, I'm going to be using a little bit thicker blade than I normally use. Um, this is the blade I usually use, which is a number 5. This will be the type of blade we're using today, which is a number 12. And if you hold them side by side, you can kind of see the difference. Um, the number 12 reverse tooth blade is better for thicker wood. And if you take your time, your cuts are going to be nice and pretty. But what I'm going to do is get the blade threaded through one of the interior cuts here and get started. And we're going to begin here with the internal cuts like with most scroll saw projects. I'm only going to film cutting out the internal sides on the word love for this video. Um, internal cutting is fairly straightforward if you know what you're doing on a scroll saw. Again with the wood being thicker than normal scroll saw projects you want to make sure that your blade is square to your table at a perfect 90 degrees. And now we're going to start the long outside cut the number 12 blade, um, you can't make the hairpin turns you could make with a number 5 blade. So you see me backing up and making it the line a little bit bigger so I can make the sharp turn around the word wood. And just going along and following the line. This pattern is available at Steve Goods Scroll Saw Workshop.blogspot.com website on the pattern catalog and it is a free pattern download if you would like to try this and try your hands at compound cutting. Going right along here and you send me back up there again so I can get that tight curve right there on the O's and the D right there. And when we finish this cut we'll take the piece over to the workbench and this is just something that I like to do I like to pop the piece out as you see there and you can see the internal cuts on the other side but I like to take just a old toothbrush a dollar store toothbrush and clean off all the dust from scrolling before I put it all back together and this just prevents that sawdust from catching in the blade and heating up and leaving burn marks on your piece. And then we're just going to take some clear packing tape and tape the piece back together to keep it nice and secure. And clear packing tape also lubricates the scroll saw blade if you guys didn't know. So that's another little tip um, why I love to use the clear packing tape. But then we're going to go over to back to the scroll saw. and cut around the word love. Um, and just taking my time. I'm not forcing the blade through the wood because then with the wood being so thick the blade can um, bend in the wood and then your cuts will not be as even and as smooth so just let the blade do the work in the wood and the only thing I'm doing is using my hands to guide the piece along the line. fairly simple pattern. We're going to go around the E here and then all the scroll saw work will be done. And then we're going to head back over to the workbench. And 
we're going to take the whole thing apart again for the last time and then clean it up I'm using an exacto knife there to get the rest of the pattern off and using a toothbrush again to just clean it up real good and I'm going to use the exacto knife to go around in the internal cuts and get those fuzzies out that happens when you use a scroll saw and the project is completed and here we have the completed scroll saw compound cut love wood all the way around love wood think it looks real great um, these are great conversation pieces to make and set on a desk or a shelf because when someone comes over or picks it up off your desk they're like hey how did you make that it's got that 3d effect and you know it just blows some people's mind that it was handmade on a scroll saw compound cutting is a very versatile technique to use on the scroll saw I've seen books dedicated just to this art form I've seen chess patterns for compound cutting all kinds of things with the compound cutting on the scroll saw um, I just saw this pattern and wanted to make it to put it out here in the shop or in the house somewhere but real neat really loved how it turned out another look and again this is just a piece of two by four really awesome design that is about all for this video remember guys if I can make it you can make it I will have another one of my videos floating up in this corner and I'll have the subscribe button floating in this corner I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.